Welcome to the unboxing of the fifth generation laser from Full Spectrum Engineering. I'm going to take you through the beginnings of uh, this adventure with uh, the arrival of the box from FedEx. It was in pretty good condition, didn't see any abnormalities from the box itself. Uh, of course there shouldn't be after spending $125 for shipping. It's a fairly heavy item, I think it was about 55 pounds. So once I cut the box open, uh, took a look here, it's obviously pretty well packed. They used some uh, foam that's form fitting around the machine and nothing appeared to be shifted around or any of that sort. Uh, no problems there. You can see here that um, the foam conforms perfectly to the to the machine that helps it stay situated in the box. First thing I noticed was the uh, the honeycomb uh, tray that kind of sits on the bottom of the machine where you do where you place your materials for cutting or engraving. Set that aside, and uh, first thing you look at on the machine itself is this uh, acrylic uh, cover and the hinges that hold it on there. Uh, that was kind of a disappointment. It looks exactly like the one that I saw in the videos from Full Spectrum in the previews that uh, they showed us on YouTube. And I was kind of hoping that that would have been upgraded in the production models, but um, to be honest, it's probably not an issue, but considering the machine is supposed to be an upgrade and it's quite expensive for the hobbyist, uh, I expected more than just a, a piece of acrylic held on by two little hinges. Time will tell how durable it's going to be as far as that goes. It shouldn't really be a problem, but I will say that the fourth generation machine has a much uh, more robust feeling uh, cover on it. Once you do pop open the cover, you'll see more foam inside that holds the um, various accessories that are included with the machine. Uh, we'll get to those in a second. You're also presented with a, a warning. Uh, please read this, something of that order. And that sheet of paper contains uh, some instructions that mostly pertain to the fourth generation machine so they really do need to update this documentation because it talks about some parts that are not actually even included in this particular package um, but they are included with a fourth generation machine so uh, if you're listening to this full spectrum I uh, recommend that you uh, update that as soon as possible because people will be looking for things that aren't there and there will be things that uh, really don't apply. So they talk about a software download that's uh, really important and that is actually one of the strong points of the full spectrum machines is they have a pretty good software package we'll talk about more later. One of the uh, weaknesses of the lower cost quote unquote machines from China are that they have pretty poor software support um, and what Full Spectrum apparently is doing is um, they're writing their own software uh, here in the US and it's, uh, it's very easy to use. I've had quite a bit of experience with that on a fourth generation 40 watt CO2 machine. Had that for a couple of years now and had some really good luck with it. So I thought we'd upgrade to the fifth gen machine which has the bigger build area and uh, some CNC machine parts and um, some other upgrades that they talk about on, on the website. Time will tell if those things make much of a difference but um, right now we're looking at uh, basically what's in the box and what you see there are a bunch more foam and uh, a brown box which uh, you'll see in a bit what that contains. And then a nice little surprise from Inventables. Uh, Inventables supplies you with a acrylic sample pack here. And I've got to say that it's pretty handy because when you look at the colors 
Oh, and there's a $20 gift certificate, by the way. That's kind of nice. As I was saying, when you look at the color swatches on your monitor at home, uh, all the different types of acrylic, mirrored and opaque and translucent and so on, you really can't tell what it looks like just from the monitor on your computer. So having a sample pack like this is, is going to be really handy for future ordering of supplies. Here we've got our hoses, water intake, and exhaust. And related to that is the brown box with a teeny tiny little water pump. Uh, this water pump uh, is really nothing more than an aquarium pump. And it pretty much does the job. All you really need to do is pump the water in and out of the machine to cool the laser tube and uh, doesn't take anything super sophisticated to do that. Some of the more powerful machines you can buy in the 60, 80, or 100 plus watt range require uh, a chiller which actually cools the water before entering the machine. Um, but uh, these little 40 watt tubes don't run very hot so uh, just a basic uh, aquarium pump that circulates the water through the tube uh, is just fine, does the job. Uh, right here we've got the uh, bottom of the machine which is uh, actually supposed to be removable for much larger objects than the standard 20 by 12 inch uh, build area. On the Spool Spectrum website they show some demonstrations of that. I'm not sure how you how much utility that feature is going to have. We'll see what happens. Inside of the machine are uh, some sort of generic uh, Chinese uh, electronics that they've imported. Power supply, stepper drivers, uh, I assume the stepper motors are from there as well. Uh, here we're looking at the uh, linear guard ra guide rails and uh, the back of the machine has the uh, laser tube uh, fully exposed to the uh, work area I should say and uh, that turns out to be uh, made me really question the, that particular engineering decision. We'll probably revisit that in a little bit here. Right now I'm pulling out that uh, tiny water pump and um, as I said it's nothing special about it. Uh, it's about half the size of the one that uh, came with the fourth generation full spectrum uh, 40 watt laser and um, yeah, it probably doesn't matter. These things don't require a lot of volume to uh, get the job done and uh, you can see that uh, this particular pump uh, does have a, a rating on it for output. It should become apparent here that it's uh, well it's got a sticker on it that says a few things actually it's IPX8 rated which uh, refers to how deep it can be submerged I believe and of course these need to be submerged all the time. You never want to run a water pump like this dry or it's going to burn out in short order. You can also see here that the rating uh, is 1200 liters per hour and a height maximum height of 2.2 meters which would be uh, you know much higher than it would normally need to pump. I'm not sure about that 1200 liters per hour if it's anything like a typical uh, Chinese component it's probably going to be half of what it's actually rated at but again in this particular application the thing just needs to work reliably we're not too concerned about uh, huge amounts of water volume. The other thing in this priority mailbox that never got priority mailed I don't know how legal that is but anyway um, inside here are a couple of cables we've got uh, an ethernet cable which is a significant development improvement wise for the fifth gen machine we'll talk about that again soon in this video 
Also got a selection of Allen wrenches. These will probably be used for things like the couplers on the stepper motors and adjusting the, um, the lenses, uh, the reflectors on the machine. There's also an aluminum slug in there which I'm guessing is used for uh, height adjustment of the laser itself. So tossing those things aside we see the bare floor of the machine with the uh, generous use of zip ties to make sure that nothing moves around. Um, pretty decent build area. Um, again, looks like it's certainly the full 20 by 12 inch uh, available that's, that's rated at. And uh, at some point you, there will probably be a video showing how the floor can be removed and if that actually does allow you to uh, engrave on larger than, than the rated sized objects. I did want to mention the way the laser tube kind of hangs out exposed in the back of the machine there. In the fourth generation machine the laser tube is protected by a cover. You don't even actually see it while you're operating the machine but I'm a little bit concerned that the tube being out in the open like that it could get banged around when you're moving materials around inside of it, there's really no protection for it. Um, you're going to have to be very careful when using this machine as far as when you're loading and unloading materials. And I can't imagine what it would be like when you're removing the, the floor and trying to get it moved around to larger objects. So we'll see what happens with that. I hope that Full Spectrum considered those things in your engineering design. So on to the um, machine as it's mounted up on a countertop temporarily. On the right side uh, we've got the new options for Ethernet connection as well as a more robust uh, printer port, printer cable connection. Uh, this is by far uh, one of the bigger improvements for these machines because the prior version was just a mini USB cable. And it was really constantly uh, coming off, loosening up, and losing uh, connection with the computer. Uh, there we have another look at the inside of the machine with the exhaust port out the back. We'll be talking about that soon, and uh, that's about it. This uh, seems to be a substantial upgrade from a previous generation machine, and uh, we'll see what happens, and we'll keep you posted on how everything goes with the new control panels, the bigger build area, the more robust connection to the computer, and um, what generally seems to be a pretty good machine uh, physically as well as in terms of the specifications. Here I'm kind of focusing on the one uh, cosmetic flaw that I did find was somebody over torqued one of the screws and slipped a little bit, scratched a tiny bit of the machine, but no big deal. If that's the only problem, then I think we'll be in, in good shape. And that's about it for our summary of the unboxing of the full spectrum 40 watt fifth generation machine. Hope you liked it, and um, stay tuned for more.